Hello, it's Lucy, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'll be talking about how to get a BSMS in computer science in four years at Northwestern University. For those of you who don't know, a BSMS is a combined degree program in which you get a bachelor's degree and a master's degree in four years. You also have the option to get a BAMS, which the only difference is that you get a Bachelor of Arts instead of a Bachelor of Science for your undergraduate. And if you don't know what the difference is between the two of them, you can check out my latest video in which I describe the details between a BA and a BS. To give you a little bit of background about myself, I'm a third year studying computer science at Northwestern University. And this past spring, I was accepted to the BAMS combined degree program. So as of now, I'm currently on track to earn a bachelor's degree and a master's degree in four years, and I'm planning on graduating in spring of 2024. So with all of that out of the way, let's jump right in and talk about the benefits of a BSMS. First of all, you'll be walking away with two degrees instead of one. And obviously having more degrees, especially one of them being a graduate level degree, is very valuable. You know, an undergraduate degree is like the beginning of your education, and then a graduate degree is meant for continuing education. So this is a symbol to um, employers and anyone you know that you have pursued higher level education. Um, in addition, at Northwestern, if you're already a student or an undergraduate student here, there is no application fee to apply for the BSMS. Um, so this is really helpful because most programs um, will require you to submit an application fee anywhere from like zero to $100 or possibly even more than that. Um, and if you're applying to multiple programs, that kind of money can add up. In addition, you don't have to take the GMAT or the GRE. And for those of you who don't know what those are, they are standardized tests that are required for many um, graduate level programs, like a lot of times MBAs or master's degrees, and they take a lot of time and effort to study for. Um, they take a lot of money if you are like buying prep materials, um, taking classes, or and also it just costs money to take the test itself because you have to pay for someone to proctor you. Um, and all of that, whereas if you apply for the BSMS at Northwestern, all of that is um, waived, so you don't have to take the test at all. You don't have to time have extra time to study for it, um, which is just super nice because it allows you to focus on your current studies and then um, not have to worry about taking the GMAT or GRE. Not only do you save time and money during the application process, but you also save time and money during the program itself. So if you were to take the traditional route of getting a bachelor's degree in four years and a master's degree in two years, that's six years of time and money that you're spending, you know, paying for tuition, room and board, all of those other things. Um, whereas if you get a BAMS or BSMS, you can likely complete it in four years, which means that you're only paying um, undergrad tuition for four years versus paying undergrad and then master's, which oftentimes costs like 50 to 100K and up um, for a single year. And so if you multiply that by two, that adds up to being a lot of money and a lot of time spent where you could be, you know, starting work earlier, doing research, um, et cetera. Another benefit of the BSMS is better job prospects and a higher income potential. This is because some jobs require you to have a master's degree. And if you don't have that degree, you just can't get those jobs. But if you get a BSMS, you'll be eligible for those jobs, which will allow you opportunities to work in more niche areas and also opportunities to make more money. Um, a good example would be like research oriented jobs. A lot of them require you to have background experience in research and be very knowledgeable in a single field. Um, so by doing the BSMS, you'll be able to take more courses, potentially do a project or a thesis and get that extra experience so that you could do some more research oriented jobs. Another option is getting a job in machine learning. Many of them require a master's degree because there's just so much to know about machine learning. And by getting a master's degree, you can specialize in machine learning and take more classes, do research in machine learning, and then um, be able to apply for those jobs. I'd also like to add that you don't have to major in computer science in order to do the BSMS or BAMS. I know a lot of people who major in like industrial engineering or mathematics or electrical engineering or computer engineering or even like music um, as their undergraduate degree and still pursue the master's in computer science. 
a lot of times these people might not be able to complete it in four years. Maybe they'll take an extra quarter or an extra two quarters to complete it, but it's still a lot less time than it would take um, for you to get a master's degree separately. And they also have can use this opportunity as like a career switch or a career pivot to be able to kind of pivot towards tech or computer science. Um, so that's also a great benefit about the BSMS. Now let's talk about the eligibility requirements or how you get into the program. So first you need to have completed the prerequisites which include CS 111, 211, 212, 213, and 214. These are the core courses in the CS curriculum and they provide a strong foundation so that you can take upper level courses in the future. If you have a GPA of a 3.5 or above, you're basically automatically admitted into the program. You just have to go through the formal process of submitting an application, submitting your transcript, and um, writing out like a list of the courses that you plan to take, but you don't need to follow those exactly. If you have a GPA of below a 3.5, then you need to do those things. And in addition, you also need to submit two letters of recommendation. Um, and it's also important to meet with the director of the BSMS program just to talk about your situation and so that they can make sure that you are ready to take on graduate level courses. I just want to stop and point out that this is a pretty sweet deal. The application itself only takes five or 10 minutes and filling out what courses you plan to take might take like 30 to 60 minutes, depending on how detailed you are. But really, you don't have to take any of the courses that you list in your plan. You just have to, it's more of a way for you to like think about what kind of courses you want to take and kind of get a visual idea of like how many courses you will actually need to complete in order to get the BSMS. Moving on, when should you apply to the BSMS? So you're eligible for admission to the program once you're within five courses of completing your undergraduate degree. But in reality, you can submit your application at any point in time. They just might not look at it until you are within five courses of completing your undergraduate degree. Now let's get to the heart of everything. What are the requirements to complete the master's degree? So you need 12 units of graduate level courses with letter grades, meaning you can't take anything pass fail, that satisfy the following constraints. At least six computer science courses, at most six units outside of computer science, at least three of the 12 units must be at the 400 level or above. Um, so for undergraduates, you usually have to complete a certain number of 300 level courses, which are considered upper level courses. But 400 level courses are a step above that where they usually require more research, more theoretical knowledge, and they're usually just more difficult overall. Um, then you also need um, at most three credits of CS 499, which is independent study. Um, and then depending on what track you choose, um, there's a maximum of three credits of CS 590, um, which is like for if you're doing a thesis or a project, which I'll get to in a little bit. One question that many people have is, can you double count courses in your BSMS? And the answer is no. In other words, a course can only fulfill requirements for one degree and not both. However, if you took some courses in the past that you originally wanted to count for your undergraduate degree, and now you decide you want to move them over to your master's degree and replace those courses with something else later, then you can do so. So you can shift them around and count courses towards like either your bachelor's or master's, but they just can't count for both. There are three options you can choose when pursuing the master's degree. The first one is coursework only, which is what I'm doing. And it's usually best for people who don't want to go on and pursue a PhD, but would rather go into industry um, because you get to take a lot of different courses and get exposure to a lot of different topics. Option two is the project option in which you take 10 traditional courses and two research courses in which you design and complete a research project under the guidance of a graduate advisor and you write a final project document as part of your work. Option three is a thesis option, which requires you to complete 10 substantial courses and two thesis courses during which you will design and complete an original research project under the guidance of your graduate advisor. The final product will be a master's thesis document 
and you have to defend your thesis in front of a panel of judges. So obviously, um, the thesis is the hardest because you're trying to come up with something completely new and innovative, whereas the project, you don't have to come up with something new, but it still has to be something substantive enough to be um, good enough for a master's degree. And then the coursework just allows you to take more courses and get more exposure to different topics. I would say that if you have any interest at all in getting a PhD, whether it's now or in the future, the thesis option would probably be best for you because it gives you exposure to doing real world research. Um, and then it also gives you uh, some type of writing that you can submit for your PhD applications um, when that time comes. So how long does it take to complete the BSMS? I know before that I mentioned that I'll be completing it in four years, but not everyone um, has the same timeline as me. Some people will complete it in four years and a quarter, or four years and two quarters, or even five years is not uncommon. It really just depends on how well you balance out your schedule during your earlier years of undergraduate. Um, so I usually try to max out my number of classes each quarter, which is why I'm able to graduate within four years. But if you like to spread your courses out over a longer period of time, then you can do so as well. So now let's talk about how much the BSMS costs. If you're able to complete it in four years, then you wouldn't pay any extra money. It would be the same price as if you had only completed a bachelor's degree in four years. However, if you take longer than four years, you will have to pay full tuition for any quarters past those four years. So for example, if you complete the degree in five years, then you'll pay for an extra year of college, but you will also be graduating with two degrees, meaning two diplomas, which is still a really great deal. Another question is how does financial aid work? If you're on financial aid and you're able to complete the BSMS in four years, then it has no effect on your financial aid. If you um, are not able to complete it in four years, then you will have to pay full tuition, like I said, and financial aid is not available um, to people who are going past the four years. However, there are a lot of opportunities for scholarships that you can apply to, um, so keep that in mind. So that is how you get a BSMS in computer science in four years. I hope this video helped. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below, and I'll see you next time. Bye!